The G sharp minor is one of those tricky beginner guitar chords. If you've ever seen it used in a song, you may have seen the chord diagram and it may have looked pretty complicated. The chord diagram sometimes looks impossible to play or there may even be different versions of the impossible to play or even worse, a bar chord. Hi there and welcome to Guitar for Beginners. And in this guitar lesson, I'm gonna show you the shape that I first learned to help me play the G sharp minor chord. Up until then, I'd been learning songs from the 50s, uh, simple rock and roll songs. But as I was getting better, I needed slightly more complicated chords. And G sharp minor kept cropping up every now and then. And I had a lot of trouble with it. And then finally I found this particular version uh, and that got me through. Okay, so let's get into this. And first of all, we're gonna put on the E minor chord. And what we're gonna do right now is the little routine that helped me to really learn this G sharp minor chord. And if you're not sure about the E minor chord, then there's a link to a beginner's guitar lesson in the description. So here's the E minor chord. Now take off the second finger and you know try not to be too offensive with it. And what we're left with here is the third finger on the second fret of the D string and all these other open strings here. But we're just gonna focus on these four strings here, the top four strings. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is move this finger up one, two, three, four frets. And so now we're on the sixth fret here. And as we've moved this finger up four frets, we also need to move this part of the guitar up as well. But we can't do that. So what we're gonna do is now use our first finger to take its place. And so we're gonna to need to flatten this finger across the top three strings here. So now this is where it can get a little bit difficult. So you need to make sure that your finger is like this, kind of on its side, okay? On its side there like that. Uh, you don't want it flat like that because it's, it's impossible to play. So you're gonna have it on its side there, slightly arched up like that. And to give your first finger the necessary strength to press those strings down, use the thumb behind uh, to push in the opposite direction. And to play it, we're only going to strum the top four strings, just these four strings here. So you're gonna to need to have a bit of control over your strumming hand when you're playing with a plectrum. When you first try this chord, you'll probably get something like this. Now don't panic, it happens to all of us. And what you need here is a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience. It won't happen overnight, but you'll get there. Eventually, and without a doubt, you will get this. So you're only playing the top four strings. So one thing you wanna do is avoid playing string five and string six. And a way to dampen those strings is use the second finger here to kind of just touch the uh, fifth and the sixth string. Okay, so you're just touching them like this, like that there, and that will avoid having, that's not a particularly nice sound, but when you've got that there, it sounds a lot better. Something I used to do a lot to check that I was playing the chord right was to hold the chord down. So there's the G sharp minor chord and to play each string individually to make sure that they ring out. Because remember, you want something like this and not, all right? All four strings really ought to ring out. And if you're pressing hard uh, with the first finger and you've got the thumb behind you pushing against you, that should enable you to get a nice clear sound after a little bit of practice. Another thing I used to do when, when practicing this chord, or in fact any new chord, was to put the chord on, then take it off, then put it on, then take it off. So just like this. So there's the chord on and off. On, off. Just kind of seeing how quickly I can get from nowhere to the chord shape, like that. 
For a bit of practice, here's a short chord progression using the major chords in E, which are E, A and B, and the G sharp minor chord. Now I like this progression because it moves you around the fretboard a little bit, but remember, take it slow, there's no need to rush. And also try to make sure that your chords are all ringing out clear. And you also want to make sure that you are playing in time. Remember when you're playing rhythm guitar, you're backing a singer and uh, you know, you wanna be in time. So here's the chord progression. E, G sharp minor, A and B. So let's have a look at this. I'm gonna play it for you nice and slow with a really simple downstroke strumming rhythm. One, two, three, four. This is a great chord shape and it's pretty versatile too. And if you want to see what else you can do with this guitar chord shape, and I stress the word shape, then check out this video here. Thanks for watching and happy strumming. Mm -hmm.